Have you ever traveled in a train? Trains are used to transport people and goods from one place to another. The train transport system is made up of trains, railway tracks and stations. Does the human body have a transport system too? Let's find out. The human body also have a transport system. It is called the circulatory system. The human body has a transport system. This is called the circulatory system. It transports materials from one part of the body to another. The circulatory system is made up of the heart, blood vessels and blood. Now let's discuss the functions of circulatory system. Through circulatory system, useful materials, such as oxygen and digested food, are transported to different parts of the body. Waste materials, such as carbon dioxide, are also transported through the circulatory system. The circulatory system is made up of the heart, blood vessels and blood. Blood transports materials such as digested food, oxygen and carbon dioxide. The heart pumps blood to all parts of the body. The blood vessels are tubes through which blood flows. Now let's learn about these three components in detail. Blood An average adult has 5 to 6 liters of blood in their body. Human blood is made up of Plasma which transports digested food Red blood cells which transports oxygen White blood cells And platelets Next we have the blood vessels Blood vessels are tubes through which blood flows. Some carry blood towards the heart. Some carry blood away from the heart. We have three types of blood vessels. Arteries carry blood away from the heart. Veins carry blood towards the heart. Capillaries are very tiny blood vessels. The heart is a vital organ of the human body. It is located in the left hand side of your chest. It is about the size of a fist. It pumps blood through the blood vessels by contracting and relaxing its muscles. The function of the heart is to pump blood through the body and also to provide oxygen rich blood which is required to live. In this diagram, the red color blood depicts oxygen rich blood and the blue color depicts deoxygenated blood. Now let's discuss the parts of the heart. Our heart has four chambers. There are two chambers on each side of the heart. The right atrium and the left atrium, the right ventricle and the left ventricle. But how does the heart pumps blood? Let's find out. The deoxygenated blood enters the heart through the right atrium. Then it flows into the right ventricle and gets pumped to the lungs. In the lungs, the pulmonary arteries absorbs the oxygen and blood gets oxygenated again. The oxygen-rich blood flows from the lungs to the left atrium by the pulmonary veins. It is then pumped to the rest of the body from the aorta. Aorta is the main artery that carries blood from the heart to the different parts of the body. This brings us to the end of the video. If you have any queries you can write to us at thestudypod01 at gmail.com.